This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Mittman versus Harrison. You all are engaged. You've been together five years. But this engagement is stopped in its tracks because of allegations of infidelity. Is that right, Ms. Mittman? Yes, that is, Your Honor. Okay. Tell us why you're here. Tell us why you've opened this case today. I'm here today because I am engaged to Gerard. Um, we've been together for five years. Uh, I'm currently six months pregnant. And... Oh. Yes, I have reason to believe that he is cheating. Uh, we already had past experiences with him cheating. He doesn't want to be my friend on social media. Uh, I still get screenshots and text messages from his sister of the things that he posts. And if you would look at the stuff that he's posts, you wouldn't think that we're engaged. You would think he's a single man. So, so I... you submitted some of those things to the court in your court file, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And these are recent posts. This message was... Let me put this blank in your life so you can shut up and end the drought. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Harrison! And, and this blank is a male private part. <laughs> right. <laughs> the next message is, I'm on white girl's blank like pepper on rice. rice. Yes. That's a new one. I've heard white on rice, yeah. but pepper on rice? Yeah. <laughs> do, do you understand? You understand? You wrote uh, things, uh, Mr. Harrison? Yes, I did. Okay, you know you should be building baby cribs, right? You should be doing <laughs> yes, this. Yes. yes? Yes. Okay, tell me why are you doing these things? Uh, well, I honestly do it to get in her head because she's always accusing me of doing things that oh. are not accurate. All right. You're offering to put your private parts into somebody <laughs> else's mouth to get in her head. <laughs> yeah. Does that make no. any kind of sense to you? No. None. So, what do you want to show her today? I'm here to prove to her that I am not a cheater. Um, I love her with all my heart. Uh, we've been together for five years. She has a lot of insecurities. And like I said, I'm not a cheater. And I never have been a cheater. Well, you say you've never been a cheater, Ms. Mittman. You say he's cheated in the past. Yes, he have, Your Honor. Um, w what happened in the past? We had past experiences when, um, we actually, we, when we, we had a big breakup. That's false. Once we got back together, I had went through his phone. So what'd you find? I found contact of his ex, and I asked him. And what'd you ask him? I asked him who was she. I already knew her name, and he knew I knew her name. So once I questioned him and I asked him who she was, he said she was nobody. I didn't make a big deal out of it. she is nobody. I went back to his phone the next week, and once I went back, the contact name was changed to a family member name. So you go back to look at the phone a week later, the same number, but it's like Uncle Joe. Yeah. <laughs> or Auntie Carol. <laughs> Got it. And you were like, why you do that? Actually, I didn't. I just asked him again, who, who was she? And he said she was nobody. So I... She I, is nobody, Your Honor. So I outsmarted him. And oh. I text on my phone, says, I just said, this is Gerard. This is my new number. My phone broke. Her response to me was, thanks, baby. I'll hit you up later. Wow. Who is this woman? A uh, mutual friend of my family members. Why you change her name on your phone if she's just a friend? Uh, well, because I knew she would get angry about if she, if she found out who it would be. Okay, why she gonna get angry? If she's just a friend. Just a, cause, exactly, because she's just a friend and she don't trust me with female friends. And as well, this is the same one that I had talked to his sister about. And during the breakup, they were seeing each other. I was told that they had sex in a sister car. We were on the break, Your Honor. But she's the... nobody and this is a friend. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> Let's go with that. You on a break. You hook up with somebody else. Why you lie about it if you on a break? It's in the past, y'all. I'm not cheating now. This is... See, the, and that's, you, this, why did you take him back? Because I... I'm like, listen, you, why did you take him back? Um, because I love him. I met him during a hard time, the death of my dad. And he treats me like the queen that my dad was. Like, he held me on that pedestal. And he didn't see no wrong in me, and I didn't see no wrong in him. So we were inseparable. You couldn't... We was, like, stuck on glue. You couldn't take us away from each other. All right, why'd you fall in love with her? Because he's smiling the whole time you talking about it. I fell in love with her uh, because of how she looked. She's beautiful. A beautiful individual. No she argument. She has a great there. personality. We were young when we met, but I knew from then on that we were going to make... This is the one. This is the one, yes. But yet, at this point, you still believe he's cheating. Yes. I... Tell me, why do you think he's cheating right now? Well, 
my first phone bill that I received, everything looked good until I got to the phone lines. Okay. I thought we had two phone lines, but the phone company states we have three phone lines. You have three phones? Three phones. Did you know about the third phone? No, no, not at all. And so yeah. what did you do at that point? I asked him. He told me in case he's bad with no. phone. So in case his phone breaks, then he'll need a backup phone. <laughs> It's a side piece phone. Is that? No. Yes. Yeah. It's an yes. extra phone. A business because phone. Because my phone breaks. I always break phones. Yeah. So you, got you, you gotta phone? know that. No, I don't have a secret phone. <laughs> Why don't you have a secret phone? Mr. <laughs> I don't have a secret phone because there's no reason for me to have a secret phone. Exactly. And I know you'd be mad about it. Yes. Okay. I'm it's bad with phone. See how that works? Yes. I'm bad with phone. Yes. Now, now looking at the big picture. Wait now. a minute. You're not gonna tell them the phone you have is a flip phone, though. No, we're not gonna talk about that. Okay. <laughs> do you have any other evidence that supports he's cheating? Yes, I do. Tell yes. me about it. Um, well, the first reason is he usually went usually went he went to work. He used to call me once he's gone break, clocked in, went to the bathroom, got out the bathroom. <laughs> Actually, I have something. Can I go to the monitor and try you to throw it back for you? Come yes, on to the Thank uh, you. plasma. Thank you. On this one day, Gerard has three breaks. The first break, I didn't receive no call. No stress, it's okay. Second break, no call. Okay, suspicious, fine. All right, last break, no call. Okay, something going on. Five o'clock, he's off work, so I'm expecting a phone call from him. Two hours later, I still haven't received a phone call at all, so now I'm, I'm not mad, I'm looking for him. So My phone was I, dead. So I call his job. His job know who I am. His job knows I'm pregnant. So they end up telling me he already clocked out on time. So okay. with me knowing that, I instantly check the GPS to see where is he located at. The GPS was uh, disabled on his phone. Yes. When did you finally hear from him? Um, at midnight. He came home at midnight. That night, yes. I stayed Looking late at guilty, work. Asked him where was he at, and guess his response was, he was at work, even though he don't know that. Or he talked to his job, and his job. He said stayed. he was at work that whole time. He called the wrong his, facility. So even though his job already told me that he got off work at five o'clock. All right, okay. thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Mitchell. Come back. Where were you till midnight? I was at a buddy house, Your Honor. What was her name? <laughs> you had a friend at the friend's house. Yes, yes. yes Is that what I you was know? at a friend's house. What was her name? It wasn't not a her, Your Honor. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And she said you told her you were still at work. Yes, I took on an yes. extra shift. But okay, you... which line you gonna tell? You pick which one. Were you at work? Uh, were was... you with a friend? I was were you with work. a girlfriend? I... Where were you? I was at work until about 8 o'clock p.m. Mm-hmm. And then I went over to my buddy house. And I did Why not call Why didn't you her. tell her that? Well, because she would accuse me of... Cheating? Yes. Yeah, of course. Wow! Look at that! Or maybe he was putting pepper on rice. Oh. Because you believe that Mr. Harrison has been unfaithful, we have brought a friend of the court to share her experiences about being with an unfaithful partner. At this time, the court will call reality star of VH1's Black Ink Crew Chicago, Miss Ashley Brumfield. Ron, please show me Ron from the Ms. Brumfield. Thank you so much for being with us today. Mm -hmm. We and really appreciate it. And be willing to share. It. Absolutely. We've got a situation here. We've got Ms. Mittman uh, accusing Mr. Harrison of cheating. Uh, he's denying that he's cheating. He has all these excuses and reasons why he's not cheating. And one of the things that's really interesting is the fact that Ms. Mittman is expecting and dealing with all this, and we know that you have been very open about dealing with infidelity and expecting and trying to build your family. Absolutely. So, I did hear you all, their story, and it seemed like deja vu. Like, I've been down this road before. Um, I was expecting, and my partner was cheating on me. My advice to you, from woman to woman, is follow your heart. If you feel like he's steady cheating and he's not gonna change, then you're gonna have to, you know, make a decision. All right, because it's about you and your baby. And the biggest thing, the biggest thing out this whole situation is that you're pregnant. You cannot stress. And as for you, she's carrying your child, which means that that's putting stress and pain on her as well. 
And then secondly, by you being a man, you should be able to let her know if you want to still be with her and spend the rest of your life with her, then you need to do that instead of cheating. Thank you Ms. so Rucker, much. thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Ms. Culler, I think we have enough evidence. All right. Ms. Mittman found that her fiancé, Mr. Hairston, has a secret phone, a side piece phone. The second is, when he was at work, he wouldn't call her. He, he would disappear for, for five hours. And then finally, he refuses to accept her friend request on social media. And because of this, she believes he's cheating. And if he is, in fact, cheating, she's done. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call licensed and certified forensics examiner Terry Fisher to determine, is he cheating? Yes. Ron, please escort him into the courtroom. How are you, Mr. Fisher? Good, good. Very good, Your Honor. Good to see you. Good to see you. Would you tell us what you did to investigate this particular case? On this particular case, Your Honor, I did a full forensic examination of Mr. Hairston's cell phone. Mm hmm so, did you uncover anything in Mr. Hairston's phone? The first thing that I found was a deleted text message between Mr. Hairston and another woman approximately two months ago at 4.43 p.m. The woman says, can you get me another bag of hot chips, babe? And Mr. Hairston responds, yeah. Okay, you getting your blank suck tonight for being the best. For some hot chips. Baby. For hot for, chips? For hot chips. For hot chips. <laughs> Wow. Mr. Who are you really? writing this to? He... No, I did not give her the hot tips. Did she give you what she promised? No, she, she did already not. got one back because she asked her for another one. Yeah. Did you find anything else in Mr. Harrison's phone? Actually, I did. I also found a salacious picture in Mr. Harrison's photo gallery of a female. It appears this picture was taken on his phone. Oh. I am looking at up close and extremely personal. A woman's private. And I mean, it is... I mean... Dead on. <laughs> Mr. Harrison. Ron, would you hand this to him? Do you remember taking that photo? Yes. How... Why are you taking pictures of other women? I, I was intoxicated that day, <sighs> Your Honor. Well, you don't look like you were intoxicated. It's a perfect shot. <laughs> it ain't a wiggle. I can sell either. If this is not Miss Mittman, who is this? A friend, Your Honor. I bet. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Fisher, did you find anything else of concern in Mr. Harrison's phone? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> what? <laughs> I also found a picture of Mr. Harrison that raises some questions. Yeah, I don't think that's all that's raised. Uh, this is... He likes up-close photography. This is an up-close picture of what appears to be his private parts. Have you ever seen a picture that looks like that? No. So it wasn't sent to you? No. Who did you send this to? The same female, Your Honor. So... Whoa, have you had sex with this woman? Just yeah, you say don't, it. Look, you don't get to this no. picture okay. without... I am asking you, did you have sex with this woman? Yes, I did, Your Honor. Well, finally, he tells the truth about something. What do you want to tell your fiance? Sweetheart, I apologize for all that. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You don't get to apologize first. First of all, you need to tell her the truth. How many women have you been with? Because it's more than this one. I have been with three women. <laughs> I'm fine. Tell him what those tears in your eyes mean. Even though you hurt me, I still love you. But... I don't love you as the man of my life no more. And I just want you to respect that. And I just hope us co-parenting can work out because that's all we'll ever be. You fall right between my youngest and my middle son. It has taken everything in me to stay on this side of the bench, because this is ridiculous. You're gonna have to be a better person. You can't do this. Be a man. Be a man. Man up. She is beautiful. 
I mean, in six months pregnant, I was looking raggedy. So you are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. But just you. the hurt on her face. I know. But it... let me just tell you this. I don't have any daughters. I have a goddaughter. Okay. But I have, I, if I had a daughter, I would tell her this. Run, do not walk. Okay? You go find somebody... Who is going to love you the way you deserve to be loved, who will support you with your child as you co-parent with him. That's what you deserve. That's what you should pursue. Thank you. We have counseling available for you as you move forward, either together or as co-parents. Take advantage of that counseling. You get your act together. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned.